the short um, two-day format that we run for these super sprint schedules is, uh, is really challenging. Um, over the weekend, we, we didn't roll out of the truck probably as good as we probably had hoped. From there on, you're just playing catch up the whole weekend. There's only short time between each session. You can't make big changes, so you're kind of just massaging the car the whole way along the, throughout the weekend and throughout the first day especially to try and get the most out of it. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an unfortunate situation where you don't kind of roll out as good as you hope and you, you just can't catch up for the whole day. The super soft tyre at Winton was super high grip. It's probably the highest grip of any track that we've, we've been to in uh, modern times with that supercar. The track surface and because of the, the high grip there, the tyres didn't actually degrade a lot. So the strategy was not easy. It's never an easy thing to do, but it kind of, there was no undercut or overcut as such. You kind of were racing the people around you. So you, you kind of looked at the close people around you when they were going to pit. You could pit the lap later and still come out ahead of them in most situations. Um, typically if you pitted early, the, the person pitting a little bit later would beat you out. So it kind of was, wasn't a whole lot of strategy at play there. Um, I think probably the best strategy overall at Winton was, was car speed, uh, something we probably were just lacking a little bit so it didn't quite help our cause there. With the super soft tyre um, and the not much degradation at Winton, uh, we decided to change the what we call the working side tyres, which is the left-hand side tyres at Winton on the Saturday. We changed to the rear tyres for the Sunday races just due to the, the right rear tyre wear. Um, we felt that it was probably wearing a little bit more than what the, the left front would. Being an unknown with the high grip and the low deg, you know, the Saturday's race was kind of a, a educated guess, if you like. and. Um, looking at tyre wears and the data and the analysis overnight, we decided to go to the rear tyre option for the next day. Yeah, the team is really positive. Uh, definitely looking forward to Darwin. It's a place where we've had some success. We were fast there last year. Um, it's a track that traditionally we've gone really well at, suits our cars. Um, yeah, everyone's upbeat and positive. It was a, you know, a challenging weekend, but sometimes in that, that's a sport. Um, so yeah, it's, you don't, uh, get nothing but a sore neck from looking back as someone famous once said. So for us, it's all about maintaining the good stuff and the positives and the momentum that we've gained from the rest of the year and the other good rounds. And um, the, the team's really well placed. We're upbeat and definitely looking forward to going up there and doing some cool things up in Darwin. We have a test coming up this Monday at Queensland Raceway. Um, we've got some new parts to put on the cars. Uh, we have co-drivers joining us. Um, we have some stuff planned to try and understand some high grip stuff that we may have learnt from Winton as well so that we can, we can work on that, look back a little bit. But um, yeah, loads of new parts, there'll be some pit stop stuff, co-drivers, uh, and we're even running a, a third car on the day as an evaluation day car to run some young guys with uh, a little bit of an eye on the future. Yeah, looking forward to the rest of the season. I think we're well placed. Uh, we're second in the team's championship. We had closed that gap after Perth and we're, we're hunting them down, but we lost a little bit of ground there, and, um, but we'll be looking to make that up over the rest of the year. I think we're well placed with our qualifying speed. We've had plenty of pole positions this year. Uh, we've also managed to convert a race win there. Slight little blip on the radar in some challenging circumstances, but we've got some tracks coming up that suit our cars. Um, we've got good drivers, good people, good team. We're doing good pit stops. So, you know, very positive and definitely looking on the up for the rest of the year.